The impending shutdown will have an impact on San Diego's restaurants, bars, uh, and wineries, which employ about 120,000 people in our county. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn explains why this round is hitting workers and business owners especially hard. It is a picturesque San Diego day, and as you can see, many people out here enjoying the sunshine and the outdoor dining. But it appears the opportunity to do that may be slipping away. We have a really close community of workers here. And to just like see everything shut down again, it's unfortunate. Abby Picari has been welcoming guests into Little Italy's Nona for more than two years. She knows that by Monday, she could be out of a job. Technically, yeah, and I'm just a student, so I'm just home doing school, um, yeah, with no job. Picari is a full-time student at San Diego State, hostessing to save up to eventually move out of her parents' house. The latest obstacle, the governor's new regional shutdown order, which limits restaurants to takeout or delivery only and forces bars and wineries to close, all to help slow the spread of the coronavirus. I had a couple people who during the first shutdown, they actually moved back to Bay Area because they were living here and then like just because they were out of a job, they had to go back home and like live with their families. And unlike the first shutdown in March, there is no federal stimulus to cushion the fall. That means no forgivable paycheck protection program loans for business owners and no $600 weekly boost in unemployment payments to workers. Restaurants left to do what they can to make it through. Of course, we're still open for takeout, so if you want to do that, that's always an option for you. But there aren't likely enough takers to keep jobs, or at least hours, from being cut. John Horn, ABC 10 News. And these new restrictions will last at least three weeks. That is the minimum.